Hey everybody, it's Epson Strap here, and welcome back to the next episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we finished the Guan region, and we defeated or got back on our side, Divine Beast Von Rudania. In this episode, we need to figure out where we want to go. So I think starting off, we have gone here, and we have gone here to get the two Divine Beasts done. But if we go to our quests, not quest, the quest, ah, quest. Uh, these are our side quests we need to get done eventually. Uh, if we go to the Divine Beast, it looks like the next one, or the last two we have, we have finished the Zora, we have finished Divine Beast Von Ruta and Rudania, and now we still have Divine Beast Von Meadow and Naboris left. So, from what it's looking like, we know that the... One of these two are what we need to go to. This one seems a little bit closer, but it looks like we have a lot of regions to travel through to get there. And this one we go through, hmm, interesting. So we, we're kind of in the middle point of where we want to go. So I think for now I actually want to go back to, not you, I want to go back to Kakariko Village. And, uh, actually no, we're going to actually get started off right here. Let's head to the Woodland Stable. And we are going to just see if we can't find some shrines. We are super close, we are going to have 10 hearts soon. Which means we need, um, we need 12 more shrines. My 13 more shrines, sorry, to get 13 hearts. That's actually odd. 13 more shrines for 13 hearts. Perfect. We need just that little bit more to get what we want to do. So where we start getting stamina and we can get some a really cool item that will be really helpful for like the rest of the game. So I think we should go on some shrine hunting for a little bit and uh, just do some side quests maybe and get stuff done. So now we're here. It's raining. Great. Just what I wanted. I really didn't miss this, so we can actually put on our better armor now, also. And nothing will burn, so let's go ahead and put on our 8 armor. And put on you, and our helmet's still the same, and I want a new helmet, damn it. Soon we'll have a new helmet. That I'll say the least. Eventually we will get a new helmet, and it'll be super helpful, better than climbing speed. So, <laughs> we'll have to work on that. Mm, there is a couple places I wanted to go inside of the Goron area, and I might go back for that later. There's specifically one place, but I didn't really know how to get there, so I wasn't too worried about it. What do you, Hylian Shroom? Okay. So we need to do some selling. I don't think I'm worried about the Ambers too much. Said that she'd pay me better than any shop would, which is pretty damn good, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's see. Look what I've got. Let's see, what do you want to sell? Or what do you want to buy the most? Do you want 30 for those ancient gears? Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to sell the majority of my rock salt. I'll probably sell, like, 15 of it. No, not all of them. God dang it. Only 40 rupees. Whatever. Not really worth it right now, anyways. I want to sell all my sapphires. I don't need them right now. We can always go mining later if we need to. There's a thousand rupees right there. This is where you can make some of your god good money. Okay, so let's go ahead and sell some of you, or all of you. You know, 360 rupees. So we're up to 2,696. That's an odd number, actually. And I guess I can sell some of these. Uh, let's go ahead and sell 10 of them. Yeah, 10 of them's fine. 120 more rupees. Awesome. So we almost have 3k rupees already. Super good. And if we sold our amber, we would have about 3k rupees. That's going to be really useful for us later. So we're going to keep that money as best we can. And luckily, we're not really in need of much else. So... Uh, let me call my horse, and we're going to start getting started. I think we're going to, if we look at the map real quick, I think I'm going to head over for this Divine Beast next. So we can kind of go through this region, explore this a little bit, explore this region a little bit, and maybe head straight here. I don't really know the map that well. But we also have this lower area to go to that we haven't gone to next, or haven't gone to yet. So we can also go down there and explore here for a little while. I don't know what I want to do yet. Do we want to go straight to the next Divine Beast and finish that up, or do we want to go here? Hmm. I think I want to explore the southern region a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to explore that bigger region there and see what's there. Because I have a general idea, like, I got the map fully explored last time I played through the game, yes, but I didn't explore anything. I just went through, got the towers, and left. I didn't, like, go through... Hmm, what's over here? What's over here? What's over here? Let's check this out. I just kind of sat there, so we'll see. Also, who needs loading screen skipping when you have me to talk to? Haha. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, that's there. Just head right over, I guess. Um, which way do I need to fly? So we need to head, like, literally just this direction. I guess so. It looks like it heads up somewhere interesting, at least. So let's head this way, as far as we can. Looks like we're going to do a little bit, or a lot of running. I see a shrine up on that hill, and I see Bacoblins. Or whatever, the, probably at this point it's Lizalfos. What are you? You're glowing. Mr. Glowy Thing, I'm coming after you. What are you gonna behold? A treasure chest and some enemies. And I'm in the water. Oh no, I'm in the water. No, I'm in... We're good. I only freaked out a little bit. Ice keys. Okay, well, it's not cold here, so I wonder why we're fighting ice keys. Perfect. Okay. Also, yes, that's Daruk's protection. Oh, there get you two. I'm sorry, bud. There you go. How's that feel? Uh, how's that feel? Take it. Let's go ahead and get this, whatever it is. Luminous stone. Interesting. I don't know how much that sells for, but it seems pretty useful. Oh, it's a blood moon. That's bad. Reason why that's bad? Because I'm in the middle of a camp. Blood moon rises once again. Be careful, Link. Blah, blah, blah. I hope I don't die. I mean, it's just, it's just, just a blood moon. Nothing wrong with it. First time I've actually been out in one. So everything I just fought respawned. Nice. Thanks, game. Let's equip one of our other five bows of this. It all does is it doesn't empower anything, it just respawns them, so I don't want that. Hmm, okay. Can I just open it in the water? No, I cannot. I can push it though, so. Can I stasis it? Hmm. I just drowned in a pond. How does that work? I can touch the bottom if I wasn't forced to swim. All right, can stasis it. Huh. How do I want to do this? I think I have a general idea how I want to do this, so. I actually want to get a bomb out there, so let's detonate that real quick. Let's throw him behind it this time. Perfectly placed, okay. We're gonna swap over to stasis real quick. Go bam. Back to you. Detonate. There you go, I should push it towards me. Hopefully, I mean that'd be pretty neat if I actually got that first try. Damn, that doesn't work. Okay, well fine then, game. But it's so useful to get a treasure chest like that. I found it and everything, and just to not get it would piss me off. Um, you just have a stick. I don't want a stick. I do want this Luma Stone, though. How do I get that? There has to be a way to drain this or something. I don't know. I think for now I'm going to leave it. Just for now. I mean, there are things sleeping here, and a hardy radish, cool. But I think for now, uh, more Luma Stone I could grab. Or you just keep running. I think I'm just keep running for now. <sighs> Let's see what's over here, at least. Yeah, um, I'm actually kind of excited to, like, explore. I've said this a million times in this Let's Play, but exploring this game was, like, something I really wanted to do. And I love doing story a lot, but being able to get this, like, get more of this game explored and done and stuff is super cool to me. Did you just throw a rock at me? Go die! No, I said go die. Really? You're all just running to the same place. Fine, you all die now. See ya. I don't feel bad. Give me my key stuff and we'll keep running. Hello, bull. You are large. Can I ride you? Nope. Can't escape. Sorry, bud. Give me your prime meat. You ran away from me. I was trying to ride you, and you just ignored me, so. You don't get to escape me. That's a tree branch and a mushroom. An iron shroom, which is pretty good. Hmm. 
I love this weapon so much. Okay, let's actually swap weapons to something smaller for now. Uh, actually, this is the lowest damage weapon I have, so I guess I'll keep with this. I don't want to, like, waste my weapons on random enemies, but hey. If it works, it works, I guess. And you die. Apparently you don't die in one hit, but you die. You die. I can fight you. There's only one of you now. Spike Focus Spear don't need you anymore. Actually, quite. Hey, bitch. So that's what happens when Darux is used. Cool. You know, I got requested to bring a chicken to one of these guys eventually. I really do want to do that one of these days. But I don't have a chicken near here, sadly. One of these days, I'll find a good one and I'll bring a chicken to it. But until then, I think for now, I'm not going to get charged by a bull and I'm going to run this way and up the hill. And see what's here. So hopefully it doesn't get too cold. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit on the warmer side here anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. But am I in... Oh yeah, I'm in uncharted territory now. Cool. So we should probably look for the tower at some point so I can at least see where I am. God, there's a lot of these guys here. Wow. A lot of bulls too. I'm kind of weirded out by that. Why are there so many bulls? Maybe they're native to the area, but still. Damn. <laughs> I call bull loney. Oh, ho. I'm not proud of that at all. Do it. I dare you. So I thought you little bitch run away. Hmm. So I see tower there. All right. Not tower. A shrine there, which is useful. Apparently I could just cheat and run up this, which I won't complain about. It makes my life easier and faster. So why not? What's up here? More stuff. I could just run up. That sounds weird. It's probably because that thing's sleeping. It has something on its neck, but I don't really care enough to figure it out. Looks like there's something. God damn it! Something down there. I was like, I'm just running forward because I'm climbing, and then I hit this. Okay, let's regen some stamina real quick. Perfect. Keep running. Want to get to the top of this? Get a vantage point and see where we are. Perfect. Okay, there's a goat and some slimes. Nice. Nice game. Nice. Let's head up here. I see two shrines. Now. I see a dragon. How does that work? I don't know how to do those yet, but we see those. Those are very rare and I can't get over there in time. So we're going to ignore that, but just imagine, we're going to actually do every single one of those. That is a goal before I end the series. I'm going to do literally as much as I can. I'm not getting every shrine, screw that. But I'm getting as much as I can without going insane. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. It might drive me literally insane and we might do some bonus episodes. Like the dragons, st dragons and stuff might be bonus episodes. Just so we can, like, keep the flow of the game going. Uh, so I'm going to... Like, I'm going to explore every region, fairly, and everything like that, but I'm going to keep the flow of the story going at least a little bit to where we can... Where is this place? I don't see any towers. Ah, that's annoying. Might be down more. I mean, our options are we can head towards both these shrines. Or we could, uh... Are you really charging me? That's what I thought. Or we can head down to this. That looks like an interesting area. It looks like there's a village down there. A village. God, that dragon looks cool. I want to get over there so badly, but I can't right now. I don't want to. Not yet, but I want to so bad. That and jump down to the village. That or jump down to there or village first and run back. Uh, it's not that long and I might be able to get my horse back down there. Fine, I'll head down to the village. Nope, nope, we're going to the shrine first. I can glide down the hill. It's fine, I'll glide down the hill and head back later. Because I can at least teleport back up here with that, which means I can go down and get the other shrine. This works better in the long run, in my opinion, so we're going to do this first. I apologize if you don't like it. But I do want to figure out what that village is. Hmm. Hello, bull. Can I just land on you? Nope, I can't. Okay, sorry. Okay, apparently I have horsemen... Erect. wrecked. 
Are you really gonna attack me right now? So I thought, bitch. I'm just running away from them. I don't care. If the horseman one comes after me again, then I'll attack, but. I said, if I didn't give you permission to attack me there, now you're off your horses. Now you're less of a threat, and I'm just gonna keep running. <laughs> See ya. Oh, God, you run fast. Fine, I'll attack you. Makes you that happy. Are you happy yet that you get attacked by me? My Cobble Crusher is badly damaged. This is kind of bad. But I love just sending this dude. No, you don't get to escape. Really? Fine, I'll bring out this because it's almost da badly damaged. You die too, I'm taking your weapon. <laughs> One weapon replaced with another. Okay, Boko Bat does 18 damage. Cool. And I could get a new horse here because we, we did just get some. I might actually get a horse. Yeah, there's a shrine nearby. I know it's a past this rock. I might get a horse because it's uh, a little bit faster and I don't know if there's a stable out here or not. We'll have to look and see, but I'm not sure. Now, is it, yeah, it's rounding up that hill there. So if I can, I want to get up here and at least glide down as far as I can. See, so is there anything up here at all? This seems kind of ominous that it would just be up here randomly. Why is this up here? Oddly peaceful too. Well, that's really peaceful. Okay, let's just glide down. I would like to avoid them if I can. Like that, right there. Waste of time. Waste of ammo. Waste of everything. So, we're gonna try to ignore it. Very pretty area though. I love this place so far. They're red bacoblins, so it looks like we are okay if they attack us. They're not the brown ones. The brown ones seem to be the strongest so far. Yeah, you're gonna see me, but you're probably not going to going to attack because you're territorial, which means you're not gonna leave your territory. There's a shrine nearby, which means I'm set. Do I sell my Korok leaf? I do. Awesome. I kept that since the beginning of the game. Oh, that's funny. I've like, um, it's because there there are certain times where it's useful, and I've never been in a situation that I needed it that I couldn't use it, and I had to use a different type of uh, glitch with uh, metal weapons. But uh, I want to try to use it legitly eventually, so that's why we have it. And we're here at the shrine, awesome. Leave me alone, slimes. Thank you. It'd be awesome if there were horses here, but I don't see any horses, and I want, like, a horse. Eh, whatever. You know I said I'd be able to glide down that hill to that village? I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, yeah, I can. I guess the village is right there. Cool. So I can't, I can't do that then. Right, let's go ahead and get this shrine though. God, this is pretty. With the sun and everything. Man, this is beautiful. Muaujim Shrine. Okay. Let's go ahead and go and see what's there. Maybe it's like a feat of strength or something and I can have an easy way off. So I realized in loading screen that uh, I actually have four already. So this is going to be the 12 away from 13 hearts. And this is a modest test of strength, okay. So it's kind of hard, I guess. I don't know, I've done difficult tests of strength. They're kind of annoying sometimes, they have a lot of health. So we'll see how this goes. He has a shield and an axe, it looks like. All right, let's do this, bud. Uh, that's cheap. A little bit too far away, ow, come on. Nope, I need to be closer. You're gonna do that, fine. Come on, yeah, see it's 15,000 health, or 1,500 health. I do a decent amount of damage to him though, so at least that's good. Oh, really? Already? Come on. Oh, he hurts. Oh, I died, what? What'd I die from? I don't have a heart. Maybe it was... God damn, I feel stupid now. Oh, it's so easy. I can do this and I can do that. And then I die. Alright, I guess let's try that again. Maybe with a better weapon. Because I think that was only 18 damage, right? Do you have a stronger... I guess let's try it with Gorok's Cobble Crusher. 
or boulder breaker, not cobble crusher. It's one step up. Oh my god, this thing's huge. Look at it, it's like, for a Hylian to use it, it needs a lot of strength, and I'm just wielding it like it's nothing. Two-handed. Two-handed, granted, but still. I'm wielding it like it's nothing. I would love to do this with shield, but I don't think I have any one-handed weapons right now. So hopefully I get a one-handed weapon from this dude. That'd be super useful. Really? Already? I hit you once and you're gonna do it? <sighs> Fine. Okay, flurry. Go. Perfect. Come on. Yes. That's kind of annoying that it's doing that. Okay, fine. You are annoying, sir. God, I jumped too early and I can't get it. Eh, stop that. Okay, fine. Free hits on me. Oh, you're gonna hit that, aren't you? No, you're not kicking. Is he like enraged now or something? No? Oh, hey, I got it. Cool. I was close enough. Perfect. This should finish him off soon, actually. Sorry about that. I went to focus mode again. I went to quiet Jeff mode. Oh my god, I just destroyed that. Ugh, oh, I'm dumb. Sorry, I was like, can I kill him? Can I kill him? And I just, boop, boop, dead. All right, let's take what he gives us. Uh, he, he has an axe and a shield. Ancient battle axe plus, 45 damage, amazing. And a 30 shield, cool. So it should be one-handed, correct? I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna not use it if it is one-handed. Ah, oh, it's not one-handed, damn it. I have all two-handed weapons right now. That's awful, absolutely awful, uh, let's just, Equip some stuff for now and oh, this is one-handed. Okay. I'm saving you uh, You're two-handed. I'm gonna drop you for now. I feel like I'm gonna get something out of this chest that might be helpful So I don't actually remember what it is, but I think it might be a melee weapon. Hopefully it's a one-handed weapon if it is Nope, it's a ninth bow. God damn it. We have like eight of those. I just replaced one <laughs> Ah, Fine, I'll go pick it up Just wanted to drop it because I didn't need it, but I guess I'll pick it up. All right, let's go ahead and get the shrine then and get our fifth orb. Okay, so I think for now guys, since we've uh, gotten all the way out here, I'm on the edge of where I know and on the edge of that I don't know. So I think now that we've gotten here, I'm going to end the episode off here at a good note on this beautiful scenery. So thank you all for watching, I'm the Chin Strap, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Legend, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. With me my shitty speaking, see you guys then.